BYD are saying, right, we're going to reslash the price of our new electric car, make it way faster, way better. Um, and we're going to give you a six, in fact, a $6,900 discount if you trade in your old version for the new version. Meaning the price of this new EV is really around 30% cheaper than the previous model. BYD have just revealed the new Denza N7 electric SUV. It seems like they reveal a new car every single week. I, I think they actually do. This is a vehicle made as a joint venture project between Mercedes-Benz and BYD. But BYD actually bought out the majority of Mercedes-Benz ownership. Mercedes-Benz used to own 50% of this joint venture. BYD went, you know what? This joint venture is going nowhere. We'll buy out the majority of Mercedes and then we'll actually do something with it. And that's what they did. Before Mercedes, when Mercedes owned 50%, the, the company was doing almost nothing. BYD buys out Mercedes and then they start making really good electric cars and selling a lot of them like this. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. The Denza N7. It's a very similar car in a lot of ways to the Tesla Model Y in terms of size in particular. It uses a lithium ion phosphate battery as well. And it began its um, initial debut in July of 2023. CNF Post says the idea was that it would take on the Tesla Model Y. Um, that effort didn't live up to expectations, says Chinese media. Not coming from me, coming from the Chinese media. Denza has brought out a, a newer, better version of the N7. In an attempt, says CNF Post, to once again attract potential Model Y customers. And the reason they keep bringing up the Model Y, which you probably think is not a great comparison, but the reason they do this is because it's the best-selling electric car in China. It has been now since uh, the beginning of when it first came out. So even though the, the media like to say, oh, the Model Y is old and it's not very good, well, it's the best-selling car in China. So clearly that's the reason why everyone keeps on mentioning it. Neo CEO keeps on blabbing on about the Model Y. It probably helps Tesla to sell more of them. The fact that these uh, media and car brands are targeting the Model Y so hard. They keep on name dropping it and helping Tesla. Anyway, Denza launched the new N7 a few days ago with a starting price of $33,000. So they reduced the price by 21%. Um, that's not... That's not fake news, 21%. That's an insane price reduction. I mean, $33,000 is obviously, it's cheaper than a Model Y, even though it's meant to be the premium, uh, the premium Mercedes-Benz BYD collaboration. Of course it's not, nothing. Mercedes-Benz do nothing with it, it's all BYD. Anyway, the Denza N7 is a five seat midsize SUV, very similar in size to a Tesla Model Y. Now, if you've seen a Model Y, just, just think of that. It's, a, it's slightly bigger, a tiny bit bigger, but in terms of its interior space, it's not because it's obviously more coupe-like. When it comes to the design, um, I actually think that's the reason it hasn't sold as well as what it could have. It looks okay, but a little bit generic looking. And I think that's what a lot of people think as well. It, it, it looks, you know, not really all that desirable. One thing that I notice is it does seem to have quite a long bonnet for an EV. Uh, you don't need to have a long bonnet. It sort of wastes a bit of space, but obviously the designers were going for that more Cooper-like look, a more Mazda look. You know, Mazda have very, very long bonnets. Anyhow, initially the uh, BYD N7 or the Denza N7 was it considered a bit of a, a sales flop. However, apparently the new model has been met with pretty, pretty um, significant interest from buyers. The N7 comes in six different versions, ranging in price from $33,000 all the way up to around about $48,000 for the most expensive model. So the, the price comparison is very similar. If you look at the performance version of the N7, it's priced just a little bit higher than the performance version of the Tesla Model Y. The updated N7 has a BYD blade battery. It's a 71.8 kilowatt hour blade battery. And it also, and in the more expensive versions, it comes with a very big battery pack. I think it's big for the size of the car. It's a 91 kilowatt hour blade battery. So lithium ion phosphate battery. It's the same battery that Tesla use in the Model Y that's made in Germany. 
But of course, this battery is bigger. 91 kilowatt hour battery gives it quite a lot of range. The base version with the smaller battery pack has 550 kilometers of CLTC range. So real world, probably closer to 450. Um, the bigger battery pack though, in the rear wheel drive version of the car, the version that only has one motor, that gives it 700 kilometers of range. So around 600 kilometers in the real world. It's pretty damn good, I think, in a car this size. I'd be, I'd be pretty happy with this car. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm quite a fan of it. Interestingly, here's where the real technology difference comes in between this and the BYD uh, Sea Lion or the Seal, any BYD standard cars. It has dual charging. It can charge at a speed of 230 kilowatt, but with two different charging ports. So you can charge theoretically at speeds of up to 460 kilowatt because uh, you can charge two different packs at the same time. A little bit like General Motors with their Silverado EV. I think it's a really good idea. And this means you can charge the battery to 80% in 15 minutes. Or, you know, actually not quite. You can charge, you can give it 350 kilometers of range in 15 minutes. A very, very fast charging. So theoretically, you're probably going to get, you know, 230 kilowatt peak. You're probably going to get average speeds of around 180. That would mean your average speed, though, would be 360 kilowatt fast charging. And that is the big reason this is a premium model. I think that's a real premium feature this car has. I really, really like it. It's two lowest prices and now the two lowest priced versions of this car, they come with uh, the one motor. It's fairly a, a bit underpowered for the premium sector in China. It's 170 kilowatts, so it's around 220 horsepower, has peak torque of 380 newton meters. That enables it to do zero to 60 miles an hour in 7.5 seconds, so not particularly quick. Uh, and that's probably not a bit off the pace in this uh, market segment, but that's part of the reason you'll be able to have a, a cheaper version of the car but they want you to upgrade. They want you to get uh, the more powerful model, which has 230 kilowatt and 360 newton meters. That model has similar power to the Tesla Model Y, and it can do zero to 100 in 6.8 seconds. However, there is a performance version. The performance version, that's the version with the dual charging, 160 kilowatt for one side of the pack, 160 kilowatt for the other side, that has that has two motors. So it has two motors with around 220 horsepower each, meaning you know, you're know looking at a total of nearly 500 horsepower. And it is very, very quick because actually the rear motor is well, a lot more powerful than the front motor. So sorry, I stand corrected. The front motor is 230 kilowatt and the rear motor is 360 kilowatt. So in total, it's around 600 kilowatt or about 850 horsepower, meaning in theory, it should be insanely fast. In fact, BYD say it can do zero to 100 kilometers an hour. So zero to 62 miles an hour in 3.9 seconds. It's really truly a performance SUV, isn't it? 3.9 seconds, zero to 62 miles an hour. Plus you're getting insanely fast charging. You can see why uh, a lot of customers are considering buying one of these. I'm a, I'm, I'm a big fan. It's a huge improvement of the previous model. It's much cheaper and I think BYD need to sell this outside of China because I think a lot of people would, would want this kind of charging speed. It's one of the things with BYD's cars that they could do better. The charging speeds, you know, it's sort of middle of the pack for the existing BYD EVs, but this is, it's just on another level in terms of performance and charging. Thanks for watching.